Alright. Good morning, everyone. Today, what we're going to start off with is Justice League, the new frontier. Um, I watched this one not too long ago, but didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. Because I was uh, I mean, paying attention to soaring things. Um, but the parts that I remember were pretty good. And there's Batman Gotham Knight on Blu ray. Um, yeah, this one, I'm not sure when it takes place. But, um, in Batman's career, but it's probably in the first, like, two or three years or so, him being Batman. So, yeah. Then there's season nine of Smallville. This one had General Zod in a scene on the back fighting Clark. Um... But that's when Clark decided to wear all black, like Batman. And that wasn't his inspiration was Bat with Batman, but that's what it reminded me of. And we have Wonder Woman, an animated movie. Uh, that one was in the Best Of collection that we covered previously. And then there's Watchmen. Um, Dr. Manhattan's probably the most powerful character in this. Because he can rewrite reality on an atomic level. I don't remember if he ever does that or not, but... And there's Watchmen, the series. I started watching that one, it was... Interesting. It looks like the character on the front is like Dr. Manhattan, but um, she's just a regular person. Then we have the final season of Smallville, the 10th. That one was pretty good. Uh, they should have spent more time with Clark in the Superman outfit. There's Batman Superman Apocalypse. This one. Um, seen a couple of times. Supergirl ends up being brainwashed and turned evil for part of the runtime. Which I think uh, is kind of cool. And then. Like I had said when we got to this point in the with the discs, this is a team I would not want to be on. The losers. They don't sound very successful. Although maybe it could just be a, a group of people that have lost a bunch lost loved ones or something, but then there's Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. Um, that one was a multiverse type thing. Before this big multiverse wave started being more prevalent. And then we got Jonah Hex with one Thanos. And or Gable. And there's Kickass. Um, this is in the DC Universe because the one of the characters, uh, Nicolas Cage's character, looks like Batman. Um, so that is my reasoning there. And we have the theatrical cut of Green Lantern in a green case. 
Uh, it's not very often you see a green case like this. But I think it looks cool. And in a regular Blu-ray case, we have the extended cut. Not a lot of people like this movie. I appreciate the direction it was going going in. Um, but it's not a great movie. I, I, I know that. And there's Green Lantern Emerald Knights. This is a, a pretty good animated Green Lantern movie. It has a couple of different origin stories on here, like Al Jordan, uh, Kilowog, and Sinestro. I think those are the three origins it covers. Batman Under the Red Hood. I think Batman of Death in the Family is a very similar story to this one. Um, Jensen Ackles from Supernatural is in this as Red Hood himself. Does a really good job portraying that character. One you don't have to wonder where it takes place in Batman's career is Batman Year One. It takes place in the first year of him being Batman. And then we have the Lego Batman the movie. This is based off of the video game Lego DC Superheroes. Like that man too, I mean, the DC superheroes. And then there's Gas 2. Um, looks like both characters have green eyes on the cover here. Interesting. Anyway. Um, and then there's The Dark Knight Rises on Blu-ray. Blu-ray trilogy pack. Um, I really like these ones. I think Dark Knight is my favorite, followed by Batman Begins. But there you go. Good movies, all three of them. And there's. Justice League Doom, where Batman comes up with a contingency plan in case an Justice League member turns evil and Mirror Master ends up stealing those plans and using them. Batman Ninja. The animation style in this one is not the best. It um, kind of bugs my eyes. But I like where the story was going, at least. Then we have uh, Season 2 Part 1 for Teen Titans Go. Definitely designed for a younger audience. And uh, yeah. Dark Knight Returns Part 1. That one is um, as a female Robin. I think uh, Carrie, K Carrie Kelly or something. So, her name. Um, so, yeah, so there's that, that stack. Um, So I'll be back in a moment. Uh, you won't notice the time difference, but oh, for me it'll be a couple of rounds. Next up is Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. I think the suit in that one is reminiscent of Ben Affleck's, or vice versa. Man of Steel. And on Blu-ray, double dipped, actually triple dipped because that has a DVD in it as well. The original Lego movie. I hope that 
Warner Bros. decides to continue the Lego franchise, the Lego movie franchise. Then we have the complete series of Gotham with all five seasons there. Such a fun show. I enjoy it a lot. Megamind. Kind of a Superman story, sort of. Which would make Megamind Lex Luthor. Um, Justice League War. This one, I think, is one of the first ones that had Dark Side in it. Um, yeah, if that's the case. Um, it was a good movie. Um, they've done some cooler ones since then. Like, this one is pretty cool. Bat Son of Batman. Damian Wayne. Um, this one's pretty cool. The, uh, it's not a Blu-ray, but it has the Blu-ray cover. A regular DVD case. Um, so, there's that. That one was pretty good. Batman Assault on Arkham. Um, the Harley Quinn and Killer Frost. I had a hard time keeping your clothes on in this one. It didn't ever show anything, but it, it implied that they weren't, weren't wearing anything. Or very much. Um, Justice League Gods and Monsters. I think this one's an alternate reality or something. Yeah, an alternate universe where the Justice League is now a trio of unchecked power. Sounds good. That was good. And we have Arrow. Looking all muscly and all that and that thing. And then season two. And then came The Flash. Really good show right there. Season 2. This is the one I'm watching right now. Or the season I'm on, I should say. Um, I couldn't remember if, if Supergirl Season 1 took place during the second or third season. It says 2016. When, when did this one come out? This one, 2016. So I think it's after the third season. But here's the third season of Flash. Before I got a really good deal on 436. This is 436. Uh, Supergirl. I got this one online. And I found the... Um, second season. High voltage there. Yeah. At one point, Flash crosses over into her universe. Um, so I think when that happens in the Flash, if he ever travels her universe and during the Flash, then I'll uh, switch to watching that in the meantime. But then there's Flash Season 4. Here we are. Season five for a dollar. Season six for a dollar. Legends of Tomorrow. This one came out in 2019. When did this season come out? Let's see. Um, hang on. So I have those organized properly because Legends of Tomorrow started in, I think, 2019, and the Season 6 of Flash was also 2019. I just wonder if Season 2 of Legends of Tomorrow had the crossover. Because it was included in the Crisis and in Infinite Earth stuff. Hmm. Legends of Tomorrow, of course, sees the return of um, 
Captain Cold and Heat Wave using their flamethrower and freeze ray. Um, Firestorm in that one again, as well as Ray Palmer's Adam and Sarah Lance's Canary. Um, I found a box set for Arrow that was like 86 bucks on Blu-ray for the whole show. I already have the first two seasons, but if I got it all on Blu-ray, I, I may or may not hang on to the DVDs for it. I mean, I probably would try and get the rest of the DVDs as well, but anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this stack. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Put those stacks there in my blue tote. And uh, I'll be back with, with another stack. And I'll probably have to make another video because this one's starting to run out of time because it has a limit on it. I have videos that are uploading that I can't delete yet. Um, so, yeah, be back in a minute. Up next we have Swamp Thing the Show. Um, I've heard good things about that show. I haven't gotten around to watching it quite yet. We have Doom Patrol Season 1 on DVD. And the second season is on Blu-ray. Speaking of Blu-ray, Titans Season 1. Uh, it's a good adult version of Teen Titans. Um, only two of them are actually teens. Um, Raven, I think, is my favorite uh, female character in that. And with... Um, Robin being, or Dick Grayson, Robin being my favorite male character. And there's Doom Patrol Season 2. Did we already cover the Superhero Season? We must have. Yeah, we did. Okay. Blu-ray. Blu-ray of Titans Season 2. Deathstroke was awesome. Um, Justice League Throne of Atlantis. I haven't watched that one in a long time. I'll have to revisit that one. Theatrical cut for Batman v Superman. A lot of people don't like this one. Uh, the Ultimate Edition I did like more than the original version, but this one's still pretty good. Speaking of the Ultimate Edition, there it is. I think... Um, this version had like, I think, three copies of it. So I think there are like four copies of this movie from when I got the DVDs and then this one. And then we got, um, Suicide Squad. A lot of people didn't like Joker for this one. And the rest of the cast got creeped out by him went all method on them. Extended cut with more of the Joker. It's okay. It's alright. Um, kind of a reboot, kind of a sequel. The Suicide Squad. Batman the Killing Joke. Not for kids. Um, but really good movie. Yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, something that is for kids is this Lego Justice League 2 pack with Gotham City Breakout and Cosmic Clash. I want to say that came with a minifigure in the 2 pack. Could be wrong. Um, so then we got Justice League Dark. Apocalypse War. I know there's other ones that came out in between those two, but I decided to keep them together. Wonder Woman. I really, really love the, I really like this movie. Um, it's got good action, slow-mo, um, lots of slow-mo. 
uh, and you can tell, and you can see her muscles rippling when she does things, which makes it all the more real. Wonder Woman 80, 1984. Um, this one's pretty good. Um, yeah, not bad. And I have a two pack for the Blu rays. Justice League. Um, this cut's not the best. Um, a cut that is very enjoyable that I still need to finish is this one. Dark Side, yeah. Dark Side's first live action appearance that I know of. He sort of was in Smallville, but he possessed Lionel Luther. So it wasn't actually Dark Side. Oh, they go Batman movie. Lots of fun for everyone. Teen Titans go to the movies. Wanting to get their own movie, but the whole movie is about them trying to get a movie for themselves. And pretty much everyone else gets a movie. Like the Batmobile gets a movie. Pen Alfred gets a movie. Batgirl gets a movie. Um... Batwing gets a movie. Ace the Bathound gets a movie. And they're like, come on, where's our movie? And all the while they're in one. It also has one of Stanley's last animated cameos. And he's like, I don't care if this is a DC movie. I love cameos. All Star Superman, Superman Doomsday. Um. With All-Star Superman, he gets too much solar radiation and it kind of affects him uh, adversely. Um, Superman Doomsday is pretty much the same story as the death of Superman. Um, this is just the earlier animation style for it. with A different uh, costume. Here's an update of Superman Doomsday. Um, yeah, it's, I think, the same, yeah, so this one's 78 minutes for Doomsday, and for Death of Superman, it's 81 minutes, it's a little bit longer, but it's basically the same story, um, doesn't mean it's not appreciated, it's, I appreciate it at least, and we have Reign of the Superman. I would like to see more of these characters, you know, or, or more from these characters. Um, but they all tried to fill Kal-El's shoes, taking it each in a different direction. Suicide Squad held to pay. Um, I think my friend Zane would really like this one. Shout out. And there's one that I really want a sequel for, Brightburn. I know a lot of people think, oh, this doesn't need a sequel, it's fine as it is. That one needs a sequel. It does. Trust me. Gotham by Gaslight, Batman. Um, Jack the Ripper's Jim Gordon. Then we have Scooby-Doo and Batman the Brave and the Bold. I want to get the rest of the Batman the Brave and the Bold show. That was a good show. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, I, I think Batman the Brave and the Bold and the animated series from the eight, from the 90s are both my definitive animated Batmans. So, feel free to disagree, but I, I really like both versions. I, I don't hold them on the same playing field, but I like them both. 